OK, well, let's talk about something different now. Tracy, uh, actually, is Tracy on the line? Can we talk to Tracy? Yeah. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Hi. Hi. So you've got a question about a parking ticket. Yes, I got a parking ticket where I live. Um, at one stage, it was well, it was always free where I parked. Um, and then they put machines in. And then no one would go shopping, so they took the machines out and it was always being free. So I, I've got a disabled son, but I never parked in the disabled bay that day. I never had them with me, so I never knew anything could change. To park where I usually park. When I came out, I had the parking ticket. Of okay. a private company. And it's a private it's company, a private that's company. the key. So a private company ticket is an invoice, it's not a parking fine. So, but still, if you don't pay, there is a chance they can take you to court. Was there any signage? Was this you, let's be straight, was this you not reading it or was this their bad signage? No, there was no signage at all. I took pictures, there was no signage okay. going Brilliant. actually into the car park, no signage going through the car park until you're actually in the car park while you're parked. But there's always been signs anyway. But the the new signs now, which I didn't didn't know at all. I've never ever okay. been told. Okay. You've I, ha you, you, it's pay it's payment hold, as they say now, for the flats above. You ha you have to argue. Your argument is the signage was not appropriate, and therefore I didn't see it, so I shouldn't be charged. The way to do this, if that company is a member of one of the independent appeal appeals processes, then the non-militant way is to go through the independent appeals process and put it forward and say there wasn't sufficient signage, I wasn't aware, I park here all the time, there wasn't sufficient notice, I believe this ticket is unfair. If they don't have an independent appeals body, and some don't, then you have two approaches. The approach I favour is you write a letter back saying you have invoiced me for parking charges. I don't believe I breached contract. It wasn't a fair contract because you didn't notify me. And there are template letters online that you can do this with because there wasn't sufficient signage. Some more militant people will say just don't respond. I don't believe with that because if they do take you to court, judges don't look it on it favourably. But some people do win that way. So those are three different approaches you can take. If there's an appeal service, I would go through the appeal, that's the easiest way. If there isn't, I would write back to them saying why you do, you're not going to pay it and then you're going to have to take me to court and I will fight you in court over this. And they will go away sometimes, mm. but not every time. But you do have rights on this. There's All lots right. of information on the internet on it. Thank Good you, luck, Tracy. Tracy.